Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all organizers, let me welcome all of you to the UN Virtual Forum on Responsible Business and Human Rights in Asia Pacific. The forum provides an opportunity to promote business respect for human rights in line with the UN guiding principles on business and human rights in both normal times and during a crisis like COVID-19. The pandemic has magnified existing inequalities and vulnerabilities with major impacts on the region's sustainable development prospects. The urgency of overcoming the health and economic crisis. Risk diverting attention from climate change and environmental pollution. As the Asia-Pacific region works to build back better, we need to ensure policies and stimulus programs prioritize people and the planet. COVID-19 could drive 500 million people into poverty by the end of 2020, widening inequalities and reversing many of the gains made in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Yet, if the policymakers and investors, the scientists and activists, the innovators and administrators all join forces to stop the reversal and push forward, we have reason to hope. Today, many companies are aware that human rights is their business and is better for business too. They know that by respecting human rights, they are investing in a brighter future for people, for economies, and for more peaceful and inclusive societies. This pandemic has laid bare the extraordinary inequalities and injustices of our world of work. It has shown how vulnerable millions of working people are in times of crisis. Now, we have before us the task of building a better normal, building a future of work that no longer allows injustice or inequality. Women are hit harder in this crisis as they face the triple burden of vulnerable employment, more unpaid care duties, and household violence from lockdowns. Together with widening inequalities, jobless migrant workers, and millions more at risk of leaving the workforce, this could unravel meaningful gains in the Asia Pacific. To build back together a more equal society, our recovery must be gender responsive. With more than 325 million children in East Asia Pacific not able to attend school for a prolonged period of time, we are compromising our future. Our future leaders are at risk. We cannot return to business as usual. To recover, rebound, reimagine requires concerted action from governments, all kinds of partners, UN agencies, business leaders, communities and others. Together we can stop COVID-19 becoming a lasting crisis for children. Let us turn this crisis into an opportunity and build back better. Let us act collectively to develop these pathways that must be different to create an equal, inclusive and sustainable world. Let, Let us, us work, work together. together.